Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm great here. I wanted to tell you about some books that I've been reading that have been very fascinating to me. The first one is Analyzing Children's Art. This is by Rhoda Kellogg and it looks like this. She, she spent 40 years of her life researching children's art and drawing and she noticed some patterns and she noticed some developmental stages through what they were able to put on paper. Um, so for the parent out there who might be having too high of expectations or just you don't have maybe the right expectations because you aren't sure what to expect from your child at a certain age, I highly recommend reading through this book. Um, I believe that you could also just do a quick little Google search for her and just check out some of her work that she's published online or that other people have cited her on. Very fascinating stuff. I wanted to just tell you that your child might fit into one of those nice, neat little categories, but as we know of us humans and people and children in general, we don't always fall into a category or into a box. So what I wanted to encourage you with is just to let your child just kind of live in that awkward, time between knowing that they aren't able to draw something that they see in real life and get it to look like what they want and when they finally reach that period of maturity where it finally clicks in their mind and then they're able to see what they see, understand what they see, and put down what they see. So I don't think it's a matter of necessarily perfectionism every time though I think that that might play a role in it. Uh, but do think about the age of your child, where they are in their development, and if they're a fairly new student, and what have been the expectations so far. Very interesting stuff in that book too, about um, people who go to school to learn how to teach art and art subjects versus those who go to school to learn fine arts and practice it themselves. And there is definitely a weird split in, in, the, uh, in higher education where you're either going to school to learn how to teach drawing and art versus going for your own skill development, which I think is really fascinating because as we know, Charlotte Mason says, and I like to quote her, that um, artists, are able to teach what they know and children sometimes learn best from artists. Not saying that you have to be an artist to teach your drawing, um, but I know that you know sometimes when I'm dealing with a student who just can't get over some mental hurdles, I've kind of been where they are. And so I just like to encourage them and say, you know what, failing isn't, isn't the worst thing in the world. In fact, failing is your first step into growth. So I wanted to encourage you with that. And then I also had another book that's been a fascinating and super fun read called The Secret Lives of Color by Cassia St. Clair. It is broken down into 75 different colors and of course color coded on the edges so that you can find the color you're interested about very easily. So she talks about 75 different dyes, pigments, colors in general, and some of them are just more color ideas and not physical pigments. And it's just, it was neat for me to read about the cultural context of some of these colors and the historical context. And I've learned some fascinating things about color. So if you are falling into that category and this is piquing your curiosity, I highly recommend checking out The Secret Lives of Color. All right, hope to see you guys later. Bye. Have you checked out my drawing course yet? Well, you need to. Here's what's in it. 33 high quality videos that go over how to do brush drawing. So that's how to mix your paints, how to get your materials ready, how to use your brush correctly and with ease. I hold your hand every step of the way and you're just not gonna miss a beat. In this course, I even go over charcoal drawing. So really, you're just going to learn how to see, 
and how to get things down on paper so much better. Click the link in the description box below to find out more, to watch sample videos, and to check it out.